Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on the ankle. Hey, Ember. <laughs> The ankle's a little mean. <laughs> so, welcome on in, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning on in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. <laughs> like and subscribe, become a channel member. Also, sorry, you might be able to hear the laundry in the back. It's all the new merch drying. <laughs> so, that'll be posted. I'll try later tonight. It's just, you know, technology ain't my thing, okay? <laughs> so, for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at everything I ate today, October 6th. So that'll be interesting. Mind you, this is following uh, the video where she proclaimed she is such an expert at losing weight. She just knows how to do it. Okay. So the next one is called So Off Track, <laughs> Life with Amber Lynn. I roll, dude. She gave us that whole freaking spiel acting like she is the know-it-all of weight loss and oh sure shit <laughs> where's that knowledge going amberlynn anyways y'all thank you so much once again and let's dive right on into this shall we starting down here hello everybody's hey amber oh here is another video of everything i ate today I know there's a lot of debate back and forth on my last video of what I ate, if it was good for me, bad for me. Oh, was there? Etc. Etc. And I think all that matters is if what I am doing for myself is working for me. <laughs> Dude, not people already speculating in the comments like that. So here we go. Everything I ate today. <clears throat> So here- Why'd we get that slow fade into the freaking apples? Here is my first meal of the day. I'm having a half of an apple. <laughs> These apples are quite big, so it does give a lot. And I'm having a natural- Sorry, the sun and the shadow's not cute. But I'm having a natural- uh, Actually, I thought the sun and shadows made it look a little artsy. <laughs> vegan eight multi-grain waffle with a natural um looks like a freaking brick dog it's a natural peanut butter right that's what it's called okay sorry i was asking i roll oh my god crystal she nodded yes <laughs> and then i am have that's like the scrap why don't you have some water my god dude from the apple and then i am having a my protein chocolate shake which is a Bolt House Farms, again, natural. Uh, uh, natural, you guys. It's natural, okay? So that means it's good for me, obviously. A protein shake. So this is pretty much what I always have for breakfast. Always the shake. And that's only half. I mean, not always. Maybe just for like the last week. Of a serving my wonderful waffle and whatever fruit that i have ew ew my wonderful waffle she says that same type of shit nowadays too talking about her freaking coin purse <laughs> for the day so there you go do keep in mind i'm drinking my water all day long uh, yeah that one probably if i drink anything otherwise i will definitely show you so Jesus, that's a lot. But here is our lunch. Crystal and I are starting to wake up earlier, so I'm able to make lunches now. So, wow. Um, look at you know that that's all black pepper, girl. This is what it is. We we have some carrots with lots of pepper. <coughs> girl, I love lots of pepper too, but that that's a bit much, okay? I prefer them like this because I do like the spice and I do like them a little brown, like. Okay, but how does Crystal feel about it? Like, <laughs> does she get any say? How some of these look, especially this one right here. <laughs> super tasty. And then over here, I have quinoa. Super, super. <clears throat> quinoa. Good for you. Amazing. Eh, it's all right. It's still really high in carbs like nutritional facts i cannot express enough how good quinoa is for you 
also edamame super 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 healthy for you and delicious and i also put some natural organic chicken sausage i roll chicken sausage <laughs> oh my god there are literal toddlers that have better enunciation than her in it so i think that's all i put just edamame natural sausage and quinoa so this is our lunch that's a that should be really filling for her though in all honesty i wonder why she didn't put a little maple syrup on the carrots i don't know that's like a little treat for me <laughs> this is a really tiny plate i'm trying amber that's still a lot of that though i do portion control as you can tell as you can tell next to my hand so your hand's pretty big girl oh. granted it's sorry it's not big like lengthwise it's big you know width but yeah i'm gonna dig in tonight's dinner is a uh, eye roll this is kind of foodie booty core isn't it just the voiceover of jasmine rice which i'm absolutely in love with i normally go for brown rice but sometimes i like to have jasmine rice i know brown rice is a lot healthier for you but jasmine rice is that jasmine rice I mean, maybe. I don't know. I thought jasmine rice was longer. This is delicious and will not kill you. <laughs> I roll, Amber. None of your individual meals are going to kill you, but add it all up. Yeah, it's going to eventually. Um, I also had some mango curry chicken on the side. That sounds good. I'm not going to lie. This is what must have been made by Wanda. Side. It was super, super delicious. Crystal's mom is an amazing. See, so Crystal is used to more out there kind of flavor and whatnot. So when Amber Lynn cooks and it's hardly anything, I wonder how Crystal actually feels about it. She must just be too nice to say anything, but like, let's be so for real. It seems like Crystal enjoys her mom's cooking as well. I mean, must have. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, dude. How do you go from this and the other really good looking meals that Wanda has prepared in the past and you, you're just fine with letting Amber Lynn cook it? Uh. <laughs> amazing cook and i love when she makes curry dishes definitely one of my favorites so here is my snack for tonight i'm gonna have a yo play light and banana cream pie so you're going to tell me that between breakfast lunch and dinner she didn't have any snacks i don't know about that dog i'm gonna have this nice beautiful big apple <laughs> and Big, big. <laughs> I'm gonna have this long pepper jack. Che Why does she big apple and long cheese? What the hell? <laughs> stick. This cheese stick is exceptionally long. Um, a subscriber of mine, Penny, commented last time I had one of these. I cut it in small pieces, and she's all. If you were to put that cheese stick back together, that'd be one long cheese stick. So this is, this is like a really big plate and yeah, it's only 80 calories, so. Why are you even using a plate for this? Like, let's be so for real. Why do you even need a plate that you're probably just gonna throw away after? Like, really? Definitely worth it and super delicious, but yes, a very long cheese stick. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is everything I ate for today. Um, again, I drank lots of water and that's the way to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> she slapped her hand over on that one. Damn. All right. Let's go on to so off track. So that everything I ate in a day really was just one day and then boom. Hello, everybody. Just woke Hey, Amber. Up. Um. Oh, and you didn't instantly go and take a shower? Wow, shocker. I woke up a little bit earlier than I have been lately, and that was without an alarm, so that's pretty awesome. Wow. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great night, or whenever you are watching this. I'm currently just about to have some breakfast, I guess, probably some yogurt, I don't know. And um, waiting for a package to, to come. I got Crystal a gift. With what money? Her own? 
Dude, what the hell? Um, just something small, but something from the heart. <laughs> Eye roll, something from her wallet, you mean. And I'm guessing Crystal's probably still asleep. That's why she's the only one down there rummaging through the refrigerator. <sighs> Let's see. I have quite a few you'll play lights, and I love this kind, so I'll probably have this. Strawberry cheesecake, Dan and Lighten Fit, so. Gotta eat some of these before they go bad. Got so freaking many, dude. I'll show you which ones I choose. I chose you. Oh, you're having two? Okay. Play light banana cream pie and the Dan and uh, Light and Fit strawberry cheesecake one. We're trying to. No fruits or anything? Eat these up because we're going even healthier. And I'll, I'll explain that later. We don't have to talk about that now. I roll. For some reason, Crystal and I just could not down those yogurts. So we only eat, ate like half of both of them. You're both so wasteful. My gosh. I don't know what it is, but we're just like... We're not on track, so it causes us not to like healthier foods. I roll. Oh boy. So I'm gonna make some couscous. For breakfast? What am I gonna do? Something tells me it's just Amber that's off track with all this. This couscous is Near East Mediterranean Curry, and it only takes five minutes to make. You have to let the seasoning boil. Seasoning boil. I hate the way she talks. With the water. and the Water. And I've really never heard anyone talk like her before. It's like a mix of just really sloppy Southern that you don't really hear many southern people actually talk mix that with a kind of valley girl like inflection to it i don't know dude it's so interesting <laughs> the way that she speaks i can't decode it and once that happens all you do is pour this in incredible amber Once it's poured in, I just give it a little stir. In the instructions, it doesn't say to do this, but I let it boil up again. And then I normally just put it aside and you have to put a lid on it. So, hello. <laughs> so as it sits there, away from the stove it was on. Um, really? The water will soak up and it takes super quick to make and then you just fly. It takes super quick to make. <laughs> oh, she's a writer, you guys. She writes. <laughs> Put it, fluff it up with a fork and bam. And, and why are you having this in the morning? Calorie wise, it's 190 calories for one full cup. Um... I do not put oil in it like it says. If I did, it would be 220 prepared, but I do not put the oil, so. Wow. Makes it less calories. Less so that you can eat more later, right? We do a smoke. Also interesting, they got rid of all of the snacks over there. What are you doing? like an evil ass cat <laughs> why are you so precious currently but and remember guys anytime that those cats get up onto the table she wipes it down no okay. good just catching up on my soap opera that i watch the bold oh lord and the beautiful i was no shade to anyone that watches like soap operas or anything like that. It's just I can't. It bores the absolute hell out of me. Behind almost 90 episodes, but the last five days I have kind of almost caught up. I have about 10 episodes left. Girl, I freaking believe it. You probably sit there and watch it all freaking day. Surprising, I know. No, it's not really. Putting on my slippers. Ew. Package might be here. We're gonna go check. So dark up in this house. Sheesh. 
hear the house crying. I don't see anything. Crystal just got a text saying it was delivered, but it's not there. So we got it's probably in the mailbox. Gotta wait a little longer. Oh, is it on the table? Is this it, really? Why didn't your mom tell us? Aw. Well, she probably thought y'all were sleeping. Okay, we're gonna open it. She's open. Oh, Amber Lynn's trusty, dusty Amazon. Opening it. <laughs> There's supposed to be a little note and it's supposed to be gift wrapped. Oh my God, this is so funny. Why? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, okay. What's it say? I put, enjoy your gift. Hope you like it. I love you from Amber Lynn Hart. I roll. Where'd the money for this come from, Amber, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh too hard. <laughs> it's supposed to be an look, it's supposed to be an Olaf toy. You can press his head down and his face changes. You can like take him apart like they do in the movie. Do you like it? Look at me. Do you like Bruh. Look at me. Ugh. Like it? <laughs> I don't think Crystal likes it all that much. I'm gonna be for real. Crystal is like obsessed with Olaf from Frozen, so. Bruh, you must have hit her or something. Why are you freaking being all nicey nice? Buying her a gift with her money. <laughs> I wanted to get her something with Olaf, but I wanted it to be something different, not like typical, so. I got her an Olaf toy. <laughs> wow. Olaf is freaking adorable. So we're going to open it and try to... Isn't she like 25? Possibly 26? 25, 26? Okay. Oh, look at this little try me button. I'm not being judgy of Crystal, but like a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I don't know. Being into like plushies and whatnot, I think that's fine at whatever age. This much into Olaf, eh. eh. Although, to be fair, I don't think Crystal really likes the gift. <laughs> See, it's face changes. Uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, gosh. That's funner. <laughs> She's telling you to stop, dude. So maybe you should stop. Oh! Uh, I'm happy you like it. So you can press down and it changes his face expression. <laughs> like, it mainly changes his eyes, but... Um... <laughs> and then you could take these off. You can put his, like, chest area right here. It's just... I don't know. It's for little kids, but it's cute. Uh, duh. Uh, Crystal starting to have kind of like an Olaf like collection, so I thought it was perfect. I like that face the best. Crystal said that she got me something too, but it probably won't arrive until like. I roll. So she framed it as they just so happened to randomly get these gifts for each other. No, no. Amberlynn said. Why don't we get gifts for each other, babe? And then sat there with her card, bought a gift, and then made Crystal get a gift for her, too. So, Crystal paid for two gifts. I roll, dude. This girl is freaking insatiable. Where the hell did she pick this up? Jesus. Four days, but I'm so anxious to know what it is. I love getting little gifts. Yeah, which you definitely made her buy. Um, if you guys want to know, Crystal and I's third year anniversary is actually on the 14th, so... I roll. Ew. Wait. So, Crystal and Valentine would have had the same, like, anniversary dates? Ooh. 
Oof. So we're just getting each other super, like we both just got each other a super small gift. Um, because what? I mean, I wouldn't say a small gift. It still was, you know, a little pricey, but it's not like how much we would normally spend on each other because we're trying to save for Black Friday again because Crystal and I do celebrate our Christmas. So you notice how Crystal had something to say about the price? Amberlynn's so delusional. It's someone else's money. That's why she doesn't think about prices and whatnot. Crazy, dude. It's on Black Friday. It's just this weird thing that we've been doing since we've been together. But anyways, our 30... Yeah, well, <laughs> celebrate it, girl. This is the last one you're getting. Your anniversary is the 14th of this month. And tomorrow we're going to, you know, go eat out. She wants to go to IHOP. I don't know if she's going to change her mind or not. She I'm sure you're going to try to persuade her to. Keep saying IHOP is kind of like lame for an anniversary, so. Well, look at the relationship. <laughs> Seems fitting. And don't be dissing IHOP like that, all right? They're pretty good. They're all right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna let her choose though because I'm normally the one who chooses. Oh, are you? You're gonna let her? You're gonna uh, let her choose. Oh, how kind of you, Amber. I roll. I don't mind where we go, but yeah, so. Bitch, you better pick Panera Bread then. Listen to how she's talking about you. Oh my god. Uh, October 14th, if you guys were ever curious, is our anniversary day. I don't give a shit. I want to know when the death date is of the relationship y'all not not ambers it's probably soon so there's this uh, website called radio.com radio has five o's in it where you can put the year and like what country and you'll hear the music from there was a kid in one of my classes at pratt he did like an art thing with this and he even set up his own antenna out of his apartment in brooklyn oh my god i love weird people like that dude it is so cool then this is the ninth and he he was a sculpture major and he as a sculpture welded together like you know a cross beam for like an old iron building like one of those <laughs> and it was a sculpture but uh, it was just so cool. Uh, I kind of miss art school. Not really, but sometimes. <laughs> 1800s in the world that we live in. What even is this? But it's actually really interesting. We just listened. Did she just say the 1500s? Well, bitch, there definitely wasn't radio then. What? Listen to all Russia's. <laughs> 1910s are next. boring well girl you gotta remember the technology of the time my god i mean just think of it this way you're listening to what people who are now dead used to listen to <laughs> is it just me that like really likes this music i don't know i find it really calming 1920s <laughs> Wally vibes, you know? <laughs> Amber Lynn looks like she would be a man in the corner of an old, like, jazz cigar lounge in the 1920s with the fedora hat, big black suit, and, <laughs> you know, sitting at the edge of the booth watching the show, tapping his foot. <laughs> You know this song? You never heard that? Putting on the Ritz? <laughs> 1930s now, apparently. Lil Johnson. I love how she says apparently. <laughs> Mellow stuff. <laughs> You guys should definitely go to this website because it's so interesting to see where we've come from. And now we're listening to music with the word freaking cock in it. 
What the hell? What song are you listening to, bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow, Amber, a bird. It's incredible. <laughs> that bird is more free than Amber Lynn. Cat in the box. There's always a kitty in a box, huh? I wasn't lying either. There's another kitty in a box. <laughs> what is with the kitties in the box? Who's in his crate right now? By choice, he's tuckered out. Box! Sonic? Is that what I just saw? You want your foods? You can have nines. Then why would you say you want the foods? Like, you're literally just teasing this poor dog all the time, dude. Oh my god. I mean, granted, I'm sure he probably doesn't know what he's saying, but like, dogs, they know, they know that certain words lead to certain actions, you know? That yeah, they got Sonic. <laughs> This just happened. So yeah, we just ate Sonic. I've only had Sonic three times in my life. Wow, so that was a nice excuse to go try it, wasn't it? Wait, four times. Once was for some onion rings and- Bitch, I don't care. Oh my God. It's literally like being talked to by a five-year-old. Twice for like a slushy, and then this time I actually ate food food from there. Food food. I will say, uh, Sonic slushy do be freaking slapping. No, I have to sulk in my regret. No. You made the choice, bitch. There's no point in regretting it. Already, I haven't been on track for a couple weeks. You guys know. Oh. Oh. Oh, god damn. All right. Oh, this. I have. I thought maybe she had gotten a bit better. Nope, guess not. Made like two videos regarding. Sick. Huh? I have made two videos regarding um, like what I eat in a day, and both of those videos were actually both days where I was on track. But she's still talking pretty loud for the fact that James and Wanda, their room. If you think about the layout of the house, when you go up the stairs and then you take that right, their room is straight shot ahead. So their room, presumably speaking, is above or adjacent to the kitchen slash dining room where Amber Lynn be yapping at full volume all hours of the night. Good Lord. Any other, any other day I was not on track and that seemed a little serial killery, right? How I just like mentally mapped out the layout of the house. That's just how long we've been watching these videos, y'all. <laughs> I cannot wait for Monday because um, just I cannot stop thinking about that beautiful gym. I know I said this last week, but I, I wasn't able to make it to the gym and it's some personal reasons. Oh, yeah, go figure. But we will be going again, and I'm just, like, so thrilled. And So she said, oh, Monday's coming up. I guess Monday came and went. Uh, so many. Were we in October in the last few videos? I think so. Yeah. You were like, watch just a photo, just a photo girl's videos and stuff like that. And I do watch her videos, and... Um, I want you guys to know she's actually motivating me to, um, eat differently, and... Really? <laughs> Is she motivating you to be off track? I'm going to eat differently, and I'm super excited for that, and... I roll. She just says shit to try and garter people's support, I swear. Um, I just want you guys to give me advice. Why? <laughs> How do I word this? How many calories is too little calories? Girl, I'd say you could go with zero for a few days and be freaking fine, honestly. <laughs> Sorry about it. I, I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but she's got to F up her eating schedule. Because <clears throat> what she's stuck in right now, her body and her brain isn't going to let her go, like 
outside of that too much, you know? Because she thinks that's what she needs. I roll. No, she'd be surprised what her body couldn't maintain off of for just a bit of freaking time with no food. I'm only saying that because, like, this is a dire circumstance, but also we know what it leads to, so I'm just wasting my breath. <laughs> That's all I'm curious about. I have not had weight loss surgery. I'm just a normal... Girl, they're normal, too. The people that get surgery are normal, too. Shut up. Ugh, eye roll. You should have gotten the freaking surgery at this point. You literally could have saved your life and completely turned it around. But no. Nope, the money and the food was more important. Good job, Ambi. Beast person. So I'm curious, how many calories is too little calories for me? For a morbidly obese person, zero is a perfect amount. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding, y'all. Not really. Because I kind of need... If Tammy Slayton could go under for a week and lose 100 pounds and that saved her life, Amberlynn could do the same damn thing and she will be freaking fine, all right? Like, I only think the topic of going without food is inappropriate for normal, quote unquote, you know, normal weight people. If you're overweight a bit, you can go a little while without eating, all right? It's your choice, but you can. You know, I'm unless you're diabetic, don't do that. Having this moment where I want to obey my fitness pal. He, they want me to eat 19,000. 19! Girl, pff, you could easily. Thousand! <laughs> my fitness pal wants me to eat 1,900 and like 70 calories, and I'm not going to do that. No. Um, I kind of want to go around 1,400. My question. But the issue is, is that always sets you off. For you guys, is th is that too little for me? Is that bad? Will I be malnourished? I think it's going to trigger you. So there's that. I just need all the advice in the world. So please, please give it to me. I accept advice whether I like it or not. And I embrace it all and I appreciate it all. So please, advice down below. I don't know if you guys remember, but in this corner, the TV used to be way up there because we had like this big thing right here, but we don't have it anymore. Oh, okay. So no more little cat hut. Aw. On some lights over here. You can see it better. So yeah, now it's just this. It's super short, but I actually prefer it like this. And I kind of like how her parents put, um, it's kind of dark, dark outside, so you can't see, but... They put like three wine glasses in front of like this mirror, uh, calm down, this like mirror candle thing. Uh, I would oh, they needed more room for the alcohol. Okay. High functioning, you guys, I swear. This I've never seen any amount of alcohol to this degree in a home before and not known that the person had an issue, you know? You guys could see it. It's actually really cute. Okay. Oh, God. Dude, she's even, like, roughing up the freaking carpet on the stairs. I think I'm going to end my vlog for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was just a random vlog. I told you guys that I'll randomly post vlogs. But, um... Wow, thank you. I just want to say, Peg... E or peg whatever you want to go by if you're watching this you should comment down below and let me know because i'm definitely curious um it's like a little inside joke not an inside joke but anyways i roll <laughs> i appreciate all of you so much for watching my videos it just means the world to me yeah why'd she just like move her whole chest lump over and i will see you in my next video bye Eesh. Eesh. Ugh, it's getting messier and messier, y'all. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for tuning on in. I truly do appreciate y'all. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.